21 years ago, on September 11th, 2,977 lives were lost in the largest terror attack in American history. Cedar Grove honors those lives that were lost and always remembers to never forget. On what was a beautiful dusk night for football at Cedar Grove High School, the Panthers were coming off of a week one victory in which they routed Glen Ridge 50 to 15. They would look to come out strong for the second straight. After a rough offensive start, Nick Droge and the special teams unit came up with a clutch fumble recovery. After a big fourth down conversion, Nick Iannacone finished the drive off with a touchdown run, putting the Panthers up one score. On Shabazz's next possession, Nick Iannacone came up with a huge interception that would give the Panthers first and 10 with a chance to go up two scores. <laughs> Quarterback Steven Paradiso hits senior wide receiver Christopher Babcock for a long gain setting up the Panthers deep in Shabazz territory. After a long reception from senior wide receiver Edmund Dakar, Paradiso would then find Dakar again in the corner of the end zone, putting the Panthers up two scores. With Shabazz pinned deep in their own territory, Bobby Kelly and CJ Maurice sacked the Shabazz quarterback in the end zone, 
for a pseudo goal safety. Panthers' next score was a short touchdown run by A.J. Soriano. It completed a long drive in which the running back had several big carries. On their next drive, Shabazz Center snapped the ball over the quarterback's head several times. This pinned Shabazz back deep in their own territory. Senior captain James Canarelli capitalized with a tackle of a running back in the end zone for the Panthers' second safety of the game. Paradiso hit Christopher Babcock for a touchdown pass, which was later followed by senior quarterback Thomas Gabriel connecting with Edmund DeCar for a touchdown pass of his own.